Well, good evening, boat friends. April 4th, just after 6.30 p.m. Central Time, you can see in the middle of your screen, that right there is the Lee A. Tegurta. It's gonna be heading in to the Ship Canal right here in Duluth, Minnesota. You can see the aerial lift bridge. It's gonna be going up here momentarily. I hope all of you are doing great. We got a great show today. It's gonna to be really fun. I have an awesome video from one of our boat friends in Brazil. Got some shout outs to do and uh, some pretty cool pictures and different things that uh, I'm gonna share with you. But again, this is a live stream happening right now. A lot of you sometimes have asked questions. Who am I talking to? Well, during these live streams, people are chatting with me and I can see their comments. Like, as I can see, uh, Ron is on there, Tursa, Chuck. These are people from around the world that are watching live. So some people were asking questions about that, but that's what's going on. So hope everybody is doing great. Let's get the show rolling. We're gonna go watch this 826 foot vessel come right through the aerial lift bridge, or go under the aerial lift bridge. And um, I first wanna get things started with the uh, temperature and some other information, but we are gonna go right down to the canal and check things out. So let's get things rolling. You will be seeing the Lee A. Tagurtha. There is a sneak peek. Randy, how are you? I see you're on there, lumpy, crazy Joe, but here's the Lee A. Tagurtha. Awesome looking ship, old school Laker. Now, it was in Thunder Bay last night, and here's the reason why. You take a look at Lake Superior. It was hunkered down right here in Thunder Bay. You can see these gusts on Lake Superior over 40 miles per hour in some spots, and it made its way down along the shoreline here to Duluth today. So that's kind of what's going on and why it was waiting. You have the Lee A. Tegurtha out here on the lake right now, Lake Superior. It's gonna be going through uh, the ship canal under the aerial lift bridge over here to CN Dock to load iron ore pellets. And I did record that Indiana Harbor, if anybody saw that, that's a thousand footer that needed tug assistance. So I do have that recorded. Not sure if I'm gonna put that up at any point, but we will see. 45 degrees, beautiful day, glorious sunshine here in Duluth, Minnesota. Wind chill, 42 degrees. I don't even think I should even mention that. Uh, visibility for the captain out on the lake, 10 miles. Really non-existent wind. It says five miles per hour, but we'll check the flags here in a couple seconds. Here's a special shout out I wanna do uh, to a person that sent me an, an email Merlet, his name is, and he is one of the officers, one of the mates on the Egbert wagon board. And this is a ship that it looks like the Maxima. We have seen this come into Duluth, the one similar. Now, this is not that ship, but this is uh, one of the mates on the ship. Wanted to say hello to the boat friend, so go check that out. After you're done on AIS, the Egbert uh, wagon board, and they're out in Europe right now, but uh, he's a boat friend, a fan, and uh, it's pretty cool to get a, a shout out for him to say hello to all of us. Now, we have a boat friend, Maria from Santos, Brazil. You might be asking yourself, where is Santos, Brazil? Well, you got Sao Paulo right here. Here's Santos, and this is the port of Santos. She gave us a video of a container ship that is going right through the port. So she wanted us to show what her city looks like, and she wanted to say, hey, boat friends, we got some big ships our way too. So here you go, the port of Santos, Brazil. Pretty cool. Uh, Different people from around the world always want to show what they got going on. But there you go. Right outside of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Santos. We want to say thank you to Maria for sending this over for all the boat friends to check out. So give you a little uh, action, some fun with the show before we get rolling. Let's go down now by the aerial lift bridge. And I'm going to say hello to the people that are chatting live. I see Janet that's on there. Carol, how are you? Chuck, definitely on there. There's Ralphie, I hope you're doing good in St. Paul. Where are you at? What is the city, the country, throwing your temperature? Ken, how are you? SCP Patriot, see he's on there. Connie, Kathy, Todd, hope you're doing great. I've been waiting all day to come out here and show you the sunshine. The snow is melting as you can see. Take a look at that flag pull up there, no wind, but uh, yeah, you know, we're going to have some fun checking this out. Now, with the ship, as we check it out coming through the canal, remember, this is built in 1942. This is an old school ship, 826 feet in length, as I mentioned. Now, I want you to pay close attention. I will zoom in. It has a fresh paint job. 
So it's gonna be a pleasure seeing this. And to, the, to those that are new on this live stream or to this channel, this is Vibe with Mike. I cover the ships here in Duluth, Minnesota, primarily. We watch these ships go under this awesome lift bridge that goes all the way up to 135 feet, which you can see right there. We have a community called the Boat Friends. And these are people from around the world that just love talking about ships and life in general. And it's a really fun, no stress community of good people. So that's what we're all about. And another thing, I have a live format. So I talk like a journalist that is out on the scene live. I might talk a little more than you like, just turn down that volume, no problem, and enjoy the ships. But that is my format, a little different than others. So I really enjoy talking, as you can tell. So take a look at what we got going on. There's the Lee A. Tregurtha. And uh, I see one of our boat friends on there. I like GT. I hope everything went good in class today. Doug, I see you're on there. Chuck, George, how are you? Dwayne. Dwayne is there, 39 degrees in Cadillac, Michigan. Looks like Bobby's on there from Sweden. Hope he's doing great. b and 65 degrees in Arizona. Now that's, a, that's a wonderful temperature. Let me give you a shot real quick before I give you the details of the ship, and then we'll get down along the canal wall. Now, if you thought you're just coming to watch a ship, guess what? You can watch some surfing out there. Yes, people are surfing out there on Lake Superior. Have some waves out there. You can enjoy the people surfing. You can enjoy the ships. But for those that are in here right now, if you're enjoying this, please hit the like button. It'll let YouTube know that uh, this is a fun channel to watch your ships on. Really appreciate that if you like what you're seeing. Give you a quick shot over here. I am on the North Pier side. This is Canal Park. Give you a peek over here. You can see the parking lot is really full. Thomas, how are you? Nice seeing you. Brett, how are you? I'll get with all you boat friends here in a moment. Just want to concentrate on this ship and making sure I get something really good for you. Mitch, how are you? I see you're on there as well. It's 55 degrees in San Francisco, John says. I've had many good times in San Francisco over the years. Now, this is an important ship, not just because of the paint job and because of the length, but this is a vessel that did see combat in World War II. It originally started out as a tanker, so it did fuel ships during the war. It does have some battle uh, ribbons that are on the side of the pilot house, which I'll zoom in on. You're looking at two lighthouses. You have the, the white one there on the left. That is the North Pier lighthouse, the one on the right that has an orange red. That is the South Pier lighthouse. And we're going to see that ship, as you can see, coming through it as a forward pilot house. So that means the captain is controlling the vessel at the bow, the front side. Lee A. Tegurtha, 826 feet in length, as I mentioned. We will get over by the wall in one second. It was built at Bethlehem Shipbuilding and Dry Dock in Maryland. That was in 1942. So it got plenty of years log. Owned by the Interlake Steamship Company, 29,000 ton capacity, and it's coming in to load iron ore at CN, as I mentioned. Five holds, 23 hatches, one propeller, one rudder, two diesel engines, pushing out a combined 8,000 horsepower. And as I mentioned, it was built as a World War tanker originally, so that's pretty cool. And another interesting fact, I've mentioned this before when it went by, during the surrender ceremony for World War II that ended the war, on September 2nd, 1945, this vessel was there in Tokyo Bay when that surrender ceremony took place. So a little bit of history. Now let's check out the paint job, but give you a little bit of ambiance. What's going on with the people here? I'm going to try to go into a spot where I'm not really bothering too many people with the talking. But let's go down over here. Give you a shot, do a little bit of people watching. Hey, Art, how are you? I hope you're doing good. Well, why don't you stand here with me, and we will stay right here and check this out, do a little people watching in the meantime. It's always funny. You'll see some of the people that will park in that parking lot, and they come running over, making sure that they don't miss anything. Got some people here. It looks like T-shirt and shorts. So that's what happens in Minnesota in the Midwest when we hit 45 degrees. Actually, you know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to jump down. We're going right along the wall. 
you were here with me, you're going to go along the wall with me. So here you go, and we're going to take a good look at this paint job. Ralphie, good seeing you on there. Thomas, how are you? Hope you're doing good. Thank you for joining here on a Thursday. A beautiful ship coming through. There's Bob. He's in Davidson, Michigan. Lester in Indiana. And uh, I know Rhino was on there from the Netherlands. And uh, Samantha from Australia. She was going to be joining too. It looks like she's on there as well. So we got people from all over the world. Let's check this out now. Yeah, again, take a look at this water. Pretty calm. Nothing too crazy. But here comes this beautiful ship in. Give you a look as it comes through. Now, there's a good look at that new paint job. Take a look at that. You don't really see those scuffs or scrapes. I know it's already went through the locks at least once or twice. But it's looking really good. And that right there, my friends, exemplifies what we call an old school acre. Take a look at the radar spinning. And in the, the very tip, it looks like a pole. Well, that indeed is a pole. Those that are familiar with that, that's a steering pole that's on the bow of the vessel. And that really aids, basically, if you're up there in the wheelhouse with the captain looking out those windows, that kind of helps you line things out as you're uh, line things up. <laughs> Take a look at these battle ribbons that I told you from World War II. You can see them in their color right there in the middle of the screen. Historic ship going under the aerial lift bridge. Take a look at the beautiful sunlight off that new paint job. Looking good. Easily coasting through the water here on Lake Superior. Let's take a look at the draft. Looks like we're sitting at 20 feet. Look at that boom. Again, this ship with the new paint job, it just makes it look like it came right off the shelf, doesn't it? Get an idea of some of the people that are working there. Take a look at the, the stack, pump it out. Be a shot of some of the workers on the deck. What a beautiful ship. We're gonna take a look at the rudder and we're gonna watch as this ship makes the pivot in the harbor basin, look at that beautiful paint job. Are you seeing any scuffs or scratches? I am not. Fabulous job by the crew that painted this. Let's give them a shout out over there at Fraser Shipyard. Give you a shot there at the, the stern. And this is a good time to let you know too that even after I'm done with this live stream, I wanna send a special shout out to Duluth Harbor Cams and Dennis. I had a great conversation with him great person he and his team they run a network of live cams here in Duluth Minnesota showing you the docks showing you the vessels so I definitely want you to go check out that channel if you have not already if you are into ships or just starting that passion you definitely want to check out Duluth Harbor cams on YouTube and take a look at that ship now you can see that pivot now take a look Ed, how are you? Nice seeing you. Ed says it's 86 degrees there in Texas. What a wonderful temperature that is. Look at that beautiful ship as the sun goes down in Duluth, Minnesota. How are you, Ron? Leonard, pleasure seeing both of you on here. Deb, I saw you on there as well. Scott, Donald, I hope you're doing great there in Mississippi. Our old friend Cat Food, how are you? Great seeing you there. Ann and Kathy. Ada's on there. Keith, Keith sent me an email here uh, earlier. Nice seeing Keith on there. Anders and Mary and Freddie, and the list goes on. Well, boat friends, guess what? 
who said that we can't have a party on a Thursday night. We just did, and we are going to have some fun this weekend. Pleasure seeing you on a Thursday night. Thank you so much. And make sure you hit the like button on the way out and subscribe. That's the only thing I ask you to do. Hit that like button and subscribe. You have a wonderful night.